I won't take a screenshot this time, just so it doesn't teleport us. What a gorgeous plane. So I've actually been in one of these, not while it was airborne unfortunately, um, but the Alberta Aviation Museum has one. And you can crawl around inside of it. It is very cramped, like, in real life this thing is really, really cramped. I can only, like, basically double over to move around the aircraft. I can't, um, obviously can't stand up full height, but even doubled over it's pretty cramped. But it's a cool little plane. Holy shit, that's a lot. They're all so close together as well. Good grief. Now here's the fucking million dollar question. What's the collision geometry on those wind turbines like? Do I dare fly low near them? I'm not sure if this is autogen. This might be, yeah, this might be Wheel Up VFR. So I've got an add-on that adds things like wind turbines, chimneys, towers, whatever. Um, so it's entirely possible it's added these. It does conflict with other sceneries in places, but I don't think I have any other sceneries for this area, so shouldn't conflict. Oh, they're not spinning so fast now. Interesting. I wonder if it's actually dynamic and based on the wind. That'd be quite cool. Casual aerobatics in a fucking non-aerobatics rated vintage aircraft. As you do. <laughs> Good song for it too. Oh, there's even more! Bruh, there's so many. Look at them all. Good grief. <gasps> that sounded fucking awesome. Please do that again. <laughs> Please do that again. That was sick. Hang on, let me just make sure the aircraft's not about to stall or anything. Give her a little bit of nose down trim. That's cool as fuck. 